This video is about science and technology for grade 5 pupils. And in the video, we shall learn by asking questions and providing answers. The first question is about how to identify plants. Plant number A, that plant is the tropical spiderwort. The tropical spiderwort. It is also called the wandering Jew. Plant number B is the pigweed, which is used as a vegetable by some communities. Plant number C is the cowpeas, which is also a vegetable. The plant number D is the blackjack or Biden spilosa. And plant number E is kale or skumawiki, which is a vegetable. The next question is give an example of a flowering plant and an unflowering plant. In that diagram, we have a flowering plant which is the castor oil plant and we also have the non-flowering plant which is the fan so we have the castor oil plant as a flowering plant and the fan as an unflowering plant now grouping plants with the common characteristics is called grouping plants with the common characteristics is called it is called classification of plants the green substance in green plants is called the green substance in green plants is called the other is chlorophyll Name one feature of flowering plants that is evident in the following picture. Name one feature of flowering plants that is evident in this picture. So the answer is colorful flowers. Colorful flowers that attract insects for pollination, right? What is the importance of the plant shown in the picture? The plant shown in the picture is the sweet potato plant. The importance of the sweet potato plant One, it is a source of food for people and animals. Number two, it is a source of income when people cultivate sweet potatoes and sell the produce, they obtain income. Number three, it is used as a cover crop to control soil erosion. And number four, it improves soil fertility when leaves fall from it and the rot to form humus. Water breads are animals with a backbone or a spine. They are divided into five groups. Name the groups. The other is mammals, birds, reptiles, fish, and amphibians. List characteristics of mammals. What are the characteristics of mammals? One, most of them give birth to their young ones. Two, female mammals have mammary glands. Three, mammals are warm-blooded. That is, their body temperature does not change according to the temperature of the environment. Number four, 
Some mammals have hairy bodies. Number five, most of the mammals walk on their limbs. And number six, they breathe in through the lungs. Those are the characteristics of mammals. List the sense organ. The sense organs of the human body and their functions. The human body has five sense organs. List them and their functions. One, eyes for seeing or sight, ears for hearing, the tongue for tasting, the skin for touching and feeling, the nose for smelling. How do we care for the skin? How do we care for the skin? Wash it with clean water and soap. Wash your skin with clean water and soap. Number two, smear your skin with some oil to keep it smooth. That is apply some oil onto your skin keep it smooth. Number three, avoid applying dangerous chemicals on your skin. Number four, protect the skin from the hot sun because the rays from the sun are harmful. So you need to protect our skin from the hot rays of the sun. What are the functions of the skeleton? The human skeleton is made up of bones. Now what is the functions? What is the function of these bones? The bones enable body posture like sitting upright. They protect inner organs. They enable body movement like walking. They produce blood cells. For example, blood cells are produced in the bone marrow. And finally, they store minerals for future use. Which muscles cover the ribs and lungs? Muscles have names. Which muscles cover the ribs and the lungs? They are called chest muscles. A sheet of muscle that separates the chest from the abdomen and allows the lungs to, to expand and relax is called a sheet of muscle that separates the chest from the abdomen and allows the lungs to expand and relax is called the answer is diaphragm. What should one do in order to prevent coughing that is caused by dust or other impurities in the air? What should one do in order to prevent coughing that is caused by dust or other impurities in the air? The answer is wear a mask when working in such areas that are polluted. List four waterborne diseases. List four waterborne diseases. One, dysentery. Two, typhoid. Three, cholera. Four, bilharzia. In which ways can waterborne diseases be spread? In which ways can waterborne diseases be spread? Using contaminated water to bathe, to wash, and for drinking can cause the spread of waterborne diseases. Also, eating food that is exposed to contaminated water. Okay. 
So let's avoid using water which is contaminated for bathing, washing and drinking. Name two water contaminants. Name two water contaminants. The other is human feces and urine. When they get into the water, they contaminate the water. Ways in which a patient learns to take care of their health is called Ways in which a patient learns to take care of their health is called it is called disease management. How can we prevent and manage diseases? How can we prevent and manage diseases? We can do that by observing proper hygiene and sanitation, by drinking treated or boiled and cool water, by properly washing fruits and vegetables in clean water, by seeking treatment in the hospital when sick, by taking medicine according to the doctor's advice or prescription. The following signs and symptoms are for which disease? Stomach pains, water diarrhea, vomiting, and severe dehydration. The other is cholera. A mite that burrows in the skin is an external parasite. Which skin condition does it cause? A mite that burrows in the skin is an external parasite. It causes scabies. Which of the following are not internal body parasites? We have external and internal body parasites. So among these four, which one, which of the following are not internal body parasites. We have hookworms, tapeworms, jiggers, and roundworms. The other is C, jiggers. Which of the following is solid waste that erodes? Which of the following is solid waste that erodes? A, plastic bottles. B, torn slippers. C. Length of wire and D. Animal dung. The answer is D. Animal dung because it decomposes or rots. How can plastic bags be managed as solid waste? How can we manage plastic bags as solid waste? By reducing their use, that is, we cut back on their use. Number two, by reusing them. Number three, by recycling them. Which of the following is the correct order of steps when processing a word document in a word processor? A. Save, edit, print, create. B. Edit, create, retrieve, save. C. Print, edit, create, retrieve. And D. Create, edit, save, print. The answer is D. You create a document, you edit what you have typed, you save, and then you can print. The following is an example of steps a computer can follow to solve a problem. Such steps are called. Now we have these steps. A plus B is equal to C and C divided by 2 is equal to D. Now these steps that a computer can follow to solve a problem are called they are called codes. And writing such steps is called coding or programming. 
When cooking fat is heated long enough, it changes into a liquid through a process called When cooking fat is heated long enough, it changes into a liquid through a process called A. Solidification B. Melting C. Sublimation and D. Freezing The answer is B. Melting Naphthalene, when heated long enough, changes from solid to gas without melting. This process is called, it is called sublimation. In which of the following are the processes correctly labeled? We have A, a solid changing into a liquid by melting. A liquid changing into a gas by sublimation, which is wrong, so A is not the answer. Number B, a solid changing to liquid by melting. A liquid changing to gas by evaporation. A gas changing to liquid by condensation. And a liquid changing to solid by freezing. Let's look at C, a solid changing to liquid by evaporation which is wrong so the answer is B that's the right answer a solid turns into a liquid through melting and a liquid turns to gas through evaporation a gas turns to liquid through condensation and a liquid turns to a solid through freezing Okay, next, the diagram below illustrates the processes in the water cycle. Which process is represented by the arrow A? So in that diagram, we have the ocean, we have land, we have clouds and the sun, and we have those processes. So that is a diagram that illustrates the water cycle. Now that process by which water moves from the ocean or from the water surfaces to the atmosphere from clouds is called what? So A is evaporation. Blue litmus paper is dipped in a solution and its color does not change. The solution must be A acidic B. Basic. The answer is basic. Okay. Which force makes it possible to siphon water from container A to container B in the following diagram? So, water is sucked at the end of the tube in B and it comes out. It flows from container A to container B. Now, which force is responsible for that process? The answer is the force of gravity. Which of the following is not a method of heat transfer? Radiation, reflection, Conduction, convection. The right answer is reflection. The three are methods of heat transfer, that is radiation, conduction, and convection. But reflection is not a method of heat transfer. At the end, kindly like, share, and subscribe to view more educational videos. Thank you so much.